right guys we got a unique little challenge ahead of us today we got uh, matt up there in the loaders we got the uh, semi and low boy and ralph's meeting us there with a boat all i'm gonna say for now is i hope it don't get wet let's go see what we got guys here's the project for the day there's a barge over there we're pumping the water out of it is rusted it is nasty it's falling apart so we're going to uh try to attempt to pull it out of the water ralph here owns a boat shop he brought a boat the only thing he's got for an oar is a two by four a broken one by <laughs> i think he stole it from me to be honest with you but the river's up the river's supposed to be way down there we're gonna try here let me have it here ralph i'll put it up Oh, there's your keys back, sir. There's the cable. So plan is, as soon as we get the water pumped out of it, we're gonna try to float it over here up against these piers, get on there with the loader and the forks, pick it up, set it on the trailer, hold it out. I don't know, we'll the try. There goes Ralph and his two by four. <laughs> So what do you what do you think the chances of somebody getting wet today are? Highly likely. <laughs> oh my goodness, the things we get into. I asked if you wanted a sturdy, safe boat, brought. Well, I, the guy owns the, the guy owns a boat shop, and he brings a dinghy. <laughs> Without a motor. Without a motor. And a two by four for a paddle. I thought for sure we had this covered. Oh, he thinks he does. All right, here's the update. Ralph has found him a paddle. He has got a paddle. And he is convinced he's going to push this thing across there with that paddle, which I'd, I'd say he can do it. It's possible. But we do have an actual boat over there that we're too hard-headed to use. Plan B. Oh, no, Ralph's going for it, man. We're going man power over horse power. <laughs> the OG3 one-man paddle here. I don't know if he's got enough rudder to control that thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll meet him on the other side. I'd help you if I could. He's moving it. Yeah. I feel like it should be a time lapse. Yeah, the only thing I see that's being funny is he's got to pedal all the way up there to turn it. <laughs> yeah. At least he don't have any current. Yeah. All right, we'll meet him on the other side. <laughs> well, it it didn't take long. Horsepower, uh, horsepower one over the dinghy. Ralph gave up. I'm I'm convinced. In Ralph's defense, he would have got it here. He would have gotten it. Here. And we get paid by the hour, so I would have been okay with that. <laughs> That's probably why he gave up. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Gary's got her moving on with the old pontoon.
we're getting all the water pumped out of her. Mr. Impatient, also known as Dirt Perfect, said there's enough water out of this barge. He can manhandle it from here with the loader. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not seeing any daylight yet. Still no daylight. Clearing the poles nicely. He's gonna take this quick, or sorry, he's gonna take this slow and easy, trying to be nimble, if you will. You can see those front tires there on the loader squatting pretty good. It's a heavy barge. As you all can see, this barge has uh, been setting a little bit of an angle for a long time. Now he's coming down. <clears throat> Gonna get it more level with the trailer and then try to align it as close as he can. Well, there she is on the trailer. That uh, that actually went pretty smooth. We need to hurry up and get to the scrap yard for all the water leaks out, so we can improve improve our value. You, you think it works? Think it works that way? No. Nope. <laughs>
All right, this thing is going to the scrap yard. Unfortunately, we're gonna get her uh, get her chained down and uh, head on out of here. I'm not gonna lie, this thing smells a little fishy. <laughs> Hope I don't scratch the paint. Chain down, ready to roll. Let's head out on out. We got our 290 Volvo. We're gonna see see what the old 290 will do here. I don't know if it's gonna have enough to lift it or not. Don't want to find out. Looking good. They make a liar out of me. Got a rig pretty nice. You pull one up. You have his weight. Yards, they just I've had them grab the whole trailer before and try to throw it in the scrap pile. So 
Uh, small little place, tight quarters around here, but uh, they really take the time to uh, do it right, which I appreciate. Great, but we're gonna roll back up on the scales and see what the magic number is. Well, I wasn't too far off, just a little over 9,000 pounds. Uh, scrap prices are just absolutely in the toilet right now. I think I got 150 bucks for that thing, which is sad. Of course, they docked me a little bit because it had foam inside it. But, uh, yeah, we are uh, out of the scrap yard. We're going to go back and reload the other one, which we're going to save. We're going to relocate it. The aluminum one there's nicer. So, uh, yeah, let's head back up there and do it all over again. Take two. So this dock here we're wanting to save it's aluminum and it's a split tune and it's wider so ralph has got some uh, fork extensions he uses for his fork truck around loading boats at his dealership we're going to slide those on there try to get underneath it and uh, gently set it on there without damaging it
told you guys went for a swim. We got her set down on there. She's not quite centered or where we want it, but we're gonna go get some wood and put it underneath there. I'm gonna aluminum pontoons. Just wanna make sure we keep those protected the best we can. So I got some scrap wood up the shop. We're gonna go grab it, come back, crib it up, and set her on there. All right, guys, we got her set down on there. We got multiple layers of two by four. Cribbing underneath there. I'm hoping we can slide these forks out from underneath there without too much trouble. Find out, it's starting to rain. May need a boat.
think he's gonna try to put them in the middle back here since they so long Alright guys, chained down and flagged. We got uh, we ended up putting some walkways on that trailer. But uh round two fun loading, let's do it. We got this thing all unchained, unflagged, unmarked. The plan is to take Ralph's big fork truck over there and uh, hope it's big enough to uh, lift this thing off. I think it should be, as long as it'll start and run. Uh, if that don't work, we may be roading the loader down here to uh, unload it. That would not be any fun. All right, Ralph's inside busy trying to sail a boat. So uh, we're gonna try our luck it. I don't think it's electric, but it's plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> On. We're going places. I don't know where, but we're going places. Tail back. Oh my God, they were four foot forks. They're only four feet. You got the extensions on there. Oh, I'll tell you, hard to find a good hill. All right, or for reverse. Hope this thing's got brakes. That's got some. All right, this might be getting interesting. This fork truck has brakes. I'll give it that. It has brakes. I would not call them the best brakes. And our fork extensions are stuck underneath there, so we're going to try to thread the needle here. Oh! Uh, slide that fork out if you can. Awful demanding up there. That's pretty close. On this one, anyway. You ready? Yep. Hang on. Nope. Don't hammer home. No, well, this 
This thing don't have much finesse. No, turn up hill. That engine we have in there. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go attempting to pick it up with Ralph's fork truck. You can see we got some tip action going on, but it's not picking the far end up. It's not picking that far tune up. No? But you're tipped all the way back and it's not picking it up. No? No. You're not off and your tires aren't off. You're still touching here. Not off the ground. And you're not off the trailer. Now there's daylight. A little bit. It's all on the fork truck now. All right, we got it up. It's about all the fork truck wants. I don't trust this fork truck going backwards because it is extremely jerky. So, uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you probably he made it up. I hope I can spin it. <laughs> it's close. So we're gonna pull the truck out from underneath it and uh, let it down. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Sketchy, sketchy. Let's get this on the ground. Nice and easy. First floor, please. Going down. All right, I'll try to back up a little bit now. Gonna see if we can back up. Yeah. <laughs> Mike said his prayer. I don't think he's gonna do much turning. Nope. Pretty sure it's gonna do what it wants. Hold on, that other tire's a better shot. Oh yeah, we got foot of clearance over there. Got a little wheel tweaking today. <laughs> Too bad you can't steer with the brakes. Oh, there's no reason to turn the steering wheel. <laughs> Safe. Alright, we found some cribbing. We're gently trying to slide them underneath here. 
so you can possibly get the fork charger back out underneath it. One more there, Matt. That'll work. Brown's supposed to be out here helping us, but uh, apparently he had somebody show up wanting to buy a boat. I guess that's more important. I guess I can't argue the fact it probably is. It is a boat dealership. We got it. All right, let this thing down, see if we can get out from underneath it. Feels pretty good, eh? Yeah. See if I can get out of there. come out one didn't it's not stuck in there by much i think we're just gonna tie a chain to it and try to pull it out right we have to go about three feet it keeps raining i'm gonna screw around and get this fork truck hung up there she comes exactly where I'd put the off switch oh my goodness it did the job we'll give it that all right guys we stole Ralph's little tractor over there <laughs> we're pushing every we're pushing everything to the limit around here it, it'll almost lift it up it'll just almost do it that thing that thing's had a rough life but uh anyways there it is guys gangways unloaded boat on the ground undamaged professionally we'll use professionally loosely professionally relocated but that's it that's a wrap we're gonna head out of here hope you guys enjoyed the video as always don't forget to like subscribe and comment and share if you like the video share it with somebody but uh, we're heading on down the road catch you guys on the next one